Hello everyone, this is NotPog, and I will be showing you how to make your very first origin. The first thing we need to discuss is the pack.mc meta. So once you create your folder, name it tutorial, anything, you know, creeper origin, whatever it is, you're going to put two things in it, a folder called data and a text file, but then just rename it to pack.mc meta. So in here, in the template, it should come up with this. It should be curly brackets, pack curly brackets, and within here, name, ID, pack format, and description. I will put an image on the screen right now that will explain pack format. So basically, pack format is basically what version you want the data pack to be made for. And since we're going to be doing 1.19, we're going to be doing pack format 10. As for the name and ID, you can just put tutorial, tutorial, or just the name of whatever you want to make it. And then in description, this is what pops up when you add a data pack to a world. So we're going to put tutorial by notpog or just whatever you want there. Now let's open the data folder and we're going to be talking about each of these. The Minecraft folder, that is a folder that you use for the data pack itself. So it is separate from the origins and it's just the data pack itself. So if you want something to occur when you install the data pack, like when you install it, it says, thank you for installing this origin. Or if you wanted to load certain things that you're going to be using for the origin, you can use it in the Minecraft folder. I'll be making a separate, separate video about that in the future. But for today, we'll be just discussing about the origins and the tutorial folder. The tutorial folder, I just named it tutorial, but you guys can name it whatever you want. Creeper origin, um, just anything. So in the tutorial folder, there'll be three other folders. Functions, origins, and powers. In functions, we have nothing right now, which I will make a video in the future about functions. As for right now, we're just gonna be opening up the origins folder. In the origins folder, this is basically the backbone to everything we'll be making. So for example, over here we have the powers. So here you list all the powers that your origin uses. Here you put the icon which displays the icon when you select it. Order. Order is what the name suggests. In what order, you know, it comes up in the GUI when you first log into the server. Impact is basically... Oops, there we go, sorry. Impact is basically, you know, as the name suggests, the impact of the origin. So difficulty three, difficulty two, or like green for easy, you know, difficulty one. And for name, we just put tutorial and description. We just put our first origin, but you can change that to however you like. All right, and now in the powers folder, in the template, it will come with nothing, but right here in the tutorial, we'll be developing a dash power. Right now it does nothing, and this may all look confusing, but I'll explain it shortly. But moving away from the tutorial folder, let's go into the origins folder. In the origins folder, you're gonna wanna make another folder called origin underscore layers, and in there, make a .json file named origin. In here, the template should come with just this. Replace basically means if there's another data pack that has the same ID, which in this case it's tutorial, it will replace it. But typically you don't want to do that, so we're gonna leave it at false. And over here is origins. As of right now, we're just making one origin, but in a data pack you could have multiple. But for right now, we're just gonna keep it to one, so tutorial, tutorial. Because in our tutorial folder, we have just the tutorial origin. All right, now moving away from that, we will be going back to the power file and opening the dash. In case you don't have already have this or copied it, basically you just have a curly bracket. And firstly, what I like to do is put a name and a description, which is the, just the name of the power and the description of what the power does. After that, depending on what kind of power you want, where you're gonna put type 
and then the type of power. So in the wiki, there is a bunch of things that you can decipher here, but mainly we're going to be going over here to general types, power types. Here are just the basic power types, action related, modifying, preventing. But what we're going to be using today is called active self. This basically means that when you press a button, it does stuff. So by stuff, I mean entity actions and it has a cooldown. This is for the cooldown bar, you know, the texture displays, the little bar and then the key. And here are some examples that you can use. Like I said, the origin wiki is very useful, but in the template, it's right here. Right here, we have the active self. Right here, we have the entity action. And as you can see here, it says type origins and. You can find that in the wiki right underneath meta action types. That basically means action types that you can use with all kinds of action types. As you can see, there's item, entity, block, by entity, which I'll go into in a future video. But for right now, all you have to know is that origins and means you can take multiple actions just with one press of a button rather than just one or origin action. And right here is the cooldown. If you're thinking I put 200 seconds, that is not the case. Cooldown is always done in ticks. So one second is 20 ticks. So that means this cooldown is 10 seconds long. Right here, we have the HUD render, and by default, it has its own texture. But right now, we're just gonna put should render true, which means we want the cooldown bar to show. Lastly, for key, there is key.origins.primaryActive, which is just the default button for activating powers. There's primary and there's secondary. And if you install the mod extra keybinds, there are many more after that. But I'll get into that in a future video. And right here with continuous, it says false. But basically what this means is when you hold it down, will be keep repeating. Or do you want it to stop after you press it once? And for right now, we're just going to make it so every time you want it to work, you have to press the button instead of holding it down. Now. We're going to be creating a dash ability. So the kind of action we want is right here in the wiki where it says entity action types. And we go to the first option, add velocity. And here there's a lot of fields and they're not too complicated. They actually have a description here in case you're confused on what they do. But basically with X, Y, and Z, you can just set the velocity to follow one of those axes. Space is basically where the axis is dependent on, whether it's local, world, or any of the other spaces they provide, if you press this right here, space. So going back into our IDE, we're just gonna copy and paste that, add velocity, and we're gonna be changing from Y to Z, because in Minecraft, Y means up and down, X means left and right, and Z means forward and back. So we want the dash to go forward. So we're gonna do Z is equal to two. And we don't want it to be based off world coordinates. We want it to be based off our coordinates, our axis. So we will be typing quotations, space, colon, quotations, and then we're gonna put local. Now we can save all. And I already did this for you, but in the origins right here tutorial i reg already registered the file basically the format for registering a power is the name of the big folder it's in so right here it's called tutorial and then you just do colon and then the name of the power so as that's the only power we have we just put dash and that's it now that we are in Minecraft, we're going to do a very handy command slash reload. And what this does is it basically reloads the data pack without you having to leave Minecraft and start it up again. It's just very handle, uh, very handy for just, you know, if you want to change something really quick with the origin and just apply the effects immediately. And now let's just click the origin orb. 
select our power and as you can see right here the dirt icon our first origin and our power right here dash which is bounded to our primary key and the description right there so now when i press the primary key yeah as you can see it should dash and there is the cooldown right there so yeah that is basically it when it comes to making our first power I'll be making more tutorials in the future and, you know, just leave any comments, any suggestions of what kind of content you want to see, what kind of powers you would like to make. And yeah, basically this is just our first tutorial, just getting through the basics. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing time and I'll catch you next time. See you.